So we're going to give you a quick uh, run through on how we produce power aboard Sturdig and how we've been surviving off grid for quite extended periods of time. We did all the electrical work on the boat ourselves. It was a bit of a challenge and a learning curve. We can produce power in three ways through our one kilowatt solar array by Sunflare. They're flexible panels that fit the shape of the boat. That is then topped up by a wind turbine by Giga, which sits at the top of our navigation mast. Also, when we're running the engine, we're able to produce some power from our alternator, but that mainly charges our engine starter battery. Barden Batteries and Victron partnered to provide us with our batteries and our inverter setup, and that really has lifted the quality of our electrical setup. Our batteries are split into two groups. Domestic battery bank is three 230 amp hour batteries. That operates all the things we use for comfort aboard the boat, all the domestic lights, the fridge, and our composting toilet. We then have a smaller battery bank, which is just for our engine starter, but that also runs our, our winches, our navigation lights, and our other navigation equipment. When we don't have much sun or much wind for extended periods of time, we are able to plug into shore power but we've probably done that under a dozen times over the course of the trip. Having inverters means that we run AC power on board, enabling us to work on our laptops and do a lot of the things that we would normally do at home. With the color control from Victron, we're able to monitor what's coming in and what's going out. We're able to look at how much AC power we're using, how much 12 volt power we're using, and also how much the wind and the solar are producing. That enables us to really stay on top of the monitoring of the power on the boat and means we don't have to worry about it too much.